Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little bit, but I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted me to film me getting Botox done um, or try and vlog it. A few of you guys have asked if I get Botox, and well, I do, but I get Botox in my bladder, and I'm super excited because I get to go do that again tomorrow. Do you guys want me to vlog that, or is that too creepy? So I did the best that I could, um, but I was only able to get a few clips, so I decided that I was going to sit down with you guys and chat with you guys about the procedure and why I get Botox in my bladder. And a, I honestly hope that some of you guys can take something from this and maybe this can benefit some of you guys. Currently, I am not feeling my best right now. Um, I get a little emotional, I'm sorry. Um, I, I don't do well with antibiotics. Uh, I break out um, in rashes. I get the depression. I get the nausea and the fever and everything. So I have been loaded up on antibiotics since I had my Botox done. So I will go ahead and start inserting clips from my day which was yesterday of me getting the botox done and i will kind of explain a little bit more on why i had to be loaded up on so much antibiotics okay so i am in the doctor's office now i just checked my blood pressure and what is it called we did a urine test to make sure i don't have a uti but it's kind of given when you cat let me get my mom sleeping over there i went in to this appointment thinking that it was just going to be another Botox appointment. I usually always have some sort of bacteria um, in my bladder and so when I do my urine sample it usually comes back saying that I have some sort of bacteria and I remember the last time my doctor went through all of the um, warnings and hey like maybe this isn't the best option for you to do right now because you do have the bacteria in your bladder. She always does that. She always explains to me the risk of me doing my Botox while I do have bacteria in my bladder. But my response is usually pretty firm and I decided to get it anyways and I've never had an issue with it. I don't recommend this for people. I, this is just me. I know my body and I know that I cath, you know, four to six times a day and I know with me cathing, inserting something into your bladder, you're going to end up having some sort of bacteria in your bladder when you do that as often as a lot of us gliders do. I went into the appointment and I did the sample and I sat there and I was goofing off with my mom and stuff. The nurse ended up coming back in and she said that the doctor was coming in to speak with me and my doctor told me that she couldn't do my Botox because of the bacteria in my bladder. And I was, I initially, I started crying, honestly. I was overwhelmed. I'm really frustrated with my bladder uh, the last couple of months. I do have leakage because I don't have my Botox in my bladder and I had to cancel my last Botox appointment because I was out of town for work and then I went to reschedule and they didn't have another appointment for two months until two months later. So I waited a whole nother two months for this appointment and I leave for Florida next week for the ICU championships with the roulettes. So I knew that I needed to get this taken care of yesterday or like three days ago, a month ago. I needed to do it ASAP. And then after, you know, Florida, I fly out to New Jersey for the New Jersey Abilities Expo. And I knew that I needed to get this handled because I do take Oxybutin, but I have to take like two or three pills sometimes just to get this under control. And I, you know, like there's side effects to that. And let's get my twins calling. So because I have all these traveling dates coming up and stuff, I became overwhelmed with emotion that I didn't want my bladder to be an issue or something to hold me back from you know, competing to my fullest with the girls. I don't wanna let them down. 
and um, also for traveling for work. I don't want to have to be like, hey, I have to go back to the room for a second and interrupt my work schedule. So I knew that this is something that I needed to do. And like I said, I became overwhelmed and I got really emotional. And when I have my mind set on stuff on something, I am become extremely stubborn. And I don't know if that's like the Italian in me or what, but I become pretty stubborn and I started asking, um, like when can we do this then like i need to do this before i leave and so she started asking me a few questions and then she finally agreed to do it yesterday but she told me all my risk it's something that i just she asked me if i felt feverish if i um have been leaking a lot more and i also related this back to me getting stem cell, which I will upload a video on that shortly. I know a lot of you guys want to know my response to that. And if I would do it again, um, y'all will find out the truth about that. I related this all back to stem cell. And because I did um, start getting more spasms after I received stem cell, I thought that maybe my bladder became more spastic as well. And therefore, I was having more leakage and I needed to get my Botox more frequent than every six months to a year. So my Botox usually lasts me about about six months usually, and the last time it only lasts me about four months. So I just was in my mind thinking that this was the reason, and I ended up finding out that that isn't the reason. I decided to get the Botox done, and while I was there, I was like super excited, um, nervous, because she said that the only way that she would do the procedure is if I get... Um, two shots of antibiotics yesterday and then I had to come in the, the following day which is which was this morning to get two more shots of antibiotics and now for the next um, five days I am on antibiotics three times a day two pills each time so my my thing that I told her I was like I am not worried about the Botox I'm worried about the antibiotics and yes I've had effects to the antibiotics but I feel like it's gonna be you know worth it so um, back to the Botox so the reason why I get Botox is because Botox you know it paralyzes muscles so ironically I want to paralyze my bladder so that it doesn't spasm and I think you guys can probably understand that by this time in the video but um, I I, I actually don't mind that because that means that my bladder does not spasm because I don't have full control over my bladder. When you get Botox in your bladder, like I said, it does paralyze your bladder so that you have less um, leakage. So that's the reason why I go get the Botox. And like I said previously, I had asked, well on average, um, my doctor, I asked her, how, uh, how long does this usually last for people? And she says anywhere from three to six months is on average on how long it lasts. So you would book your appointment, get the Botox done, and then right then and there, you kind of want to make sure that you book your next appointment because they do get pretty busy. And it's, I mean, at least for my hospital, I go to Loma Linda, it's where I got airlifted to when I first got in my accident. It's where I went to for my cancer and my radiation. My doctor is there. And um, so I've done everything at Loma Linda. So that's the hospital that I go to. So the procedure goes, you go in, you get it, you take a, or they take a urine sample from you to make sure that you don't have any severe UTIs and too much bacteria in your bladder, which was, you know, my case. And after you do that, you go in to a room where you then undress and they insert lidocaine into your bladder and you wait about 15 minutes before, um, or my, this is my experience, um, my doctor then would come in and then she would start the procedure of putting the injections into my bladder. And I think it's, yes, I get 200 units of Botox in my bladder. So while they do the injections into your bladder, they also fill your bladder with um, saline and uh, that's basically water. So they're filling your bladder while they are putting, giving you the injections. This experience for me was completely different this time and it all makes sense to me now. I don't know if some of you guys had or remember me discussing this on my Instagram 
about my back pain. I had had severe back pain a few months ago and it was just awful. And I would cry about it all the time and it, I just felt like I just couldn't move. My AD, which is autonomic dysreflexia, was through the roof and I didn't know what it was. I thought like maybe I injured my back or you know, maybe I have a disc now. And then I thought, you know, I probably have kidney stones. And so the pain ended up going away and I am trying to kind of like piece it together now. And I think I had, was passing my kidney stones in that moment and then they ended up in my bladder. And because I don't urinate normal, like, not normal, but like an able body would or someone who has control of their bladder, I couldn't pass the stones, therefore they just sat in my bladder. So while I was at the doctor's, uh, the urologist, I um, was watching the screen and filming it and my doctor told me how I had extremely large stones in my bladder. And that's scary to hear. I'm thinking, oh, well, Hopefully they're not that large where we can just blast them out and um, that's not the case. So I have to go in after these few trips that I go on and get them surgically removed. You see that? It's right there. Is that a stone? Yes. Yeah. So what do you, how do you get rid of that? It's a Should surgery? Yes. Yeah. Dang it. It's just kind of overwhelming that... I go in and think I'm just getting my normal Botox routine and find out that the reason why I've had more leakage and I've had more UTIs and all this pain is related to another issue and it's something that I can't feel or control. So it's frustrating but it's, I know it's something that I can manage and take care of and get the surgery to have them removed, which is, which is a relief. And I just have to roll with it. I'm not feeling my best today, like I said, and, and I know it's related to the antibiotics. I literally got ready right now after coming home from dance practice just to film this video real quick and I'm gonna go lay down. Something that um, I've learned is that if you have some control of your bladder, um, talk to your doctor about it if this is something that you're interested in because I know that if you have some control of your bladder, you paralyzing your, your bladder, it's going to make it more difficult for you to have any control over it or none at all. So this is something that has worked for me. I uh, suggest it to people because I absolutely love having it done and I can go longer and I don't have to rush quickly to a bathroom or pull out a cath and you know cath in my car real quick because I know a lot of you guys know that I cath through my belly button and, and so I can kind of just pee wherever I want. So this is something that has definitely been a game changer for me along with my surgery that I had so that I could cath through my belly button. For my fellow quads, this is something that I would definitely recommend because it's super easy for me to have a little bit more independence and control of my life. Um, in fact, I actually would just recommend it to anybody if you don't have any control of your bladder. I'm not a professional and I think that if this is something that you are interested in and I hope that I give I had given enough information in this video if not leave a question um, your questions down below but if this is something that you guys are interested in please contact your guys as urologist and ask them for more information about it I know it, it actually is a much more common procedure than um, people think there is some pain after and discomfort after you get the Botox done. So when I do cath, my urine is usually like really full of blood for like the first full day and I'm just really uncomfortable. Uh, but after that, it usually goes away about 24 hours, 48 hours after, you're pretty fine. And I know it takes a day or two for the Botox to actually kick in, just like any other Botox. 
I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I am going to go lay down now, but I love you guys so much. And if you guys want more videos like this, more educational and me sharing a little bit more of my personal. So if you guys want more uh, videos like this of me being a little bit more detailed on my personal life and more of my experiences with how my body now functions, please let me know and give this video a thumbs up. I know that this may come off to some of you guys as a creepy video, um, but hey, people need to know. And I'm human and this is my life and I'm gonna share it with you guys. I'm gonna try my best to be as honest and open as I can, like I always have been. And it is what it is. But I love you guys so much. Um, please leave comments and questions down below if you guys have any more questions. If not, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will leave that somewhere here. I have been much more active on there lately and I do do a lot of IG stories now because I just want to hair <laughs> I just I just want to show you guys a little bit more of me and my personality rather than just post and makeup and I'm enjoying it um so yeah it's been fun <laughs> so please don't forget to subscribe and I've heard all over the place that you know YouTube you need to do the alarm thingy the little bell thing so don't forget that don't forget to click that as well. Um, I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video.